My coverage of Computex 2024 is brought to you by Antec, Asus, Corsair, and G-Skill. To learn more about all their new products, check out the links in the description below. New boards from AMD for the new 9000 series. Very excited. This is the Mag X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. It looks pretty good. Obviously, we're getting USB 4.0 support across the 870 and the 870E chipsets. USB 4.0 connectivity. Tomahawk, the Mac LED. PCIe Gen 5 for both the graphics card and for NVMe storage is also a nice touch. Wi-Fi 7 and a plethora of other features. Actually a pretty striking board. I didn't think I would like the neon yellow at first, but it actually looks pretty good. Rear I.O. Solid. There's that USB 4 Type-C port right there. I believe that does 40 gigabits per second, which is absolutely insane. There's also a Type-A 10 gigabit per second uh, port. And we have another USB Type-C port with DisplayPort Alt mode, absolutely great for connecting external monitors, and another 10G port that's USB Type-C. Here we have the Pro X870P Wi-Fi. This is more of a professional look, right? This might go with like a, an Aero GPU from, from Gigabyte or something like that. It looks a bit more on the content creator side, but still a very feature-rich board. Plenty of fan headers, dual eight pin connectors for the EPS, so you can do some CPU overclocking. Pretty beefy VRM heat sinks as well. This is a very heavy board actually, much heavier than it looks. And here we can see this board also has those same toolless M.2 joysticks, if you will, that we saw just a second ago. And obviously all of the, uh, the, the beautiful benefits that you get with the new X870 platform. So look, it's a Z790 board, Z790 Intel board with mini CU DIMM. Interesting. It looks a little funny. It's like, honey, I shrunk the dims, but uh, you know, maybe there's some, some cool applications there. They're not saying too much about it. They're pretty tight-lipped on that for now. We've got uh, some other some other nifty features on all of the, the boards. So MSI has a couple different tiers of motherboards, right? Meg is the top, and then it goes MPG, and then Mag at the bottom. But they want to standardize quality features for all of those lines so that no matter what board you're getting from MSI, uh, you're going to be guaranteed those features, like a debug LED. That's going to become standard on all boards, as well as a quick release for your GPU. Very handy to have, so you don't have to whip out the plastic butter knife anymore, which is a trick that I learned from Paul, actually. Thank you, Paul. And then these toolless uh, mounts, these toolless screws. Actually, they're not really screws, just these toolless mechanisms for M.2 drives that just pop in just like that. Very seamless and very convenient, easy to use. I'm not sure if these are going to be on all the AMD boards for MSI, but definitely on all the Intel boards uh, for Z790 moving forward. Then we've also got this Aero expander, M.2 expander, which doesn't look too new. However, it is hot swappable. It does support two M.2 SSDs, NVMe drives drives up to PCIe Gen 5 speeds and they are hot swappable so they just pop out toolessly. Two slots right there, very quick and easy to, to swap them out if you need to from behind your panel, from behind your PC rather, without having to uninstall the card itself. Here's a quick look at Cam 2 custom water cooled. Yes, there's a Cam 2 module underneath that plate that's connected right now to a, a custom liquid loop. Definitely the nicest presentation I've seen for Cam 2 here at Computex 2024. Gosh darn, that is pretty. All right, I might, I might, I might be pro Cam 2 now. I think this might have convinced me. Here's a standalone demo unit of what we just saw. There's the water block on top of it. The Cam 2 being sandwiched in between. On the back side, you can see the ICs as well as the LGA business going on. Very cool. This is the Meg 321 URX QD OLED. As the name suggests, it's using a QD OLED panel. Absolutely fantastic. 4K UHD, 240 hertz. It's nice to see MSI hopping on the bandwagon when it comes to OLED gaming monitors. It's about time. But this one's actually pretty cool because it's got AI built in, very similar to the ones that we saw back at CES earlier this year. However, they've made some changes, and by that, they've actually removed part of the feature. Uh, if you guys remember, they, they had it integrated with League of Legends to actually show you where on the map enemies were coming from. And it, it stirred up a lot of controversy because people were saying that it gave gamers an unfair advantage uh, based on their hardware that they were using, which was technically true. So what MSI did was they removed that feature or rather reallocated it for single player games. So you can still utilize that same aid, but just in a non-competitive environment where you're not gonna be upsetting other gamers. That being said, they still do have 
the other AI feature, which is the health and armor bar. They have an AI chip built into the monitor, so it's all happening on a hardware level. It's reading the data on the screen, like the health bar that's at the top there, that you can see it in green, and reflecting that in the LED, I think they're calling it the spectrum bar down below. I think the jury is still out as to how useful this feature is. While it's very cool, I'm not sure exactly the practical nature of it because the health bar isn't really too far off from where your eyes are. Perhaps it's a bit more easy to see the LED bar because it is illuminated, but you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this a feature that you'd actually care about? Or is it more on the gimmicky side? MSI is showing off a ton of monitors here, but I'm breaking it down into the top two, my two favorites, the one that, I, that you just saw, as well as the MSI MPG 321CUPF. That's a mouthful. When are they gonna start naming these more reasonably? I don't know. But this is the world's first curved dual mode gaming monitor. I've been sleeping on this feature, guys. I did not know what dual mode meant, even though they've already released a flat version of these that have that has dual mode. Apparently what that means is that with the click of a single button, if I can find the button, you can actually change the, the resolution and the refresh rate at the same time. Is this it? So right now, what are we at right now? I think this is 4K, 160 hertz. If I press the button, nope, I don't think that's it. Thank you very much. Someone is coming to my aid. There it is, thank you very much. And just like that, we've switched over from 4K, 160 hertz, now to 1080, I believe it's 1080, and 320 hertz. So depending on what game you're playing, what application you're using, you're gonna want a different resolution and refresh rate. It happens all the time. This just makes that process of changing both of those elements that much more seamless and easy. Other specs here, it's a 32 inch display, rapid VA panel, 1500R curvature on that curve, and a bunch of other standard stuff. All right guys, that's gonna conclude it for my coverage of MSI here at Computex 2024. It's an absolute madhouse, so I'm gonna get the heck out of here, but stay tuned for more coverage coming at you really soon. I will see y'all in the next video.